Howdy everyone, Kyler here. As you can see, I'm back at Hayes Nature Preserve. Today, I wanna to do a little adventuring. So, I won't be sticking in one spot. I'm gonna try and stick and move as much as I can, but I am gonna try the honey hole out where I caught the PB at. So, um, yeah. I know it looks early, but I'm actually out here late. So let's see if we can catch any biggins. Welcome to Fishing After Five. We are starting off today swim jig. Of course I'm going to use my favorite swim jig which is a VM Bates Pulse swim jig. Presentation is everything. No literally I mean it, it's everything. It looks good enough to eat. There we go. Something bit my tail off. Dang doodle. Dang it. That's been a bluegill. Well I had one bite so far and it was a bluegill. Biting off my tail. Hmm. One of the primary things about fishing is learning when you're wasting your time. With the swim jig, I might be wasting my time. They don't seem to be on it today. Sometimes you get out here, and the thing you plan doesn't work. That is how fishing is. Your job is to figure it out. <sighs> and solve the puzzle that is what the bass want. And if you can solve the puzzle every time, you'd be a rich man. Am I good at solving that puzzle yet? <sighs> Not really. But I'm damn sure getting there. Are you kidding me? The camera wasn't on the whole time? Okay, so I caught one fish on a jig and then I caught this fish on the jig. I'm kind of mad at myself for not having the camera on at all. Dang it. Well, here he is. I'm two fish in, although you probably didn't see the first fish. So sorry about that. Let's get you out of here. See ya. The first one was a good one too. I really wish you would have seen it. All right, Cinco on. Let's see if we can change anything. They wanted it on the fall, so I'll give them the fall. <laughs> I don't play games, friend. Gotcha, right in the roof of the mouth. Sucks for you, bud. Oh no, right in the eye. Dude, I'm sorry. Eee, I'm gonna let you go. You've been through enough. You've been through enough, see ya. Do you see all that line? Oh my God, it's one of the worst things about fishing. I mean, I, I get it if you don't know any better, but I'm telling you, never cut the line at the reel. You leave a big mess. If I could get over there to clean it up, I would. It messes it up for everybody else. In fact, this line has been here for as long as I've been coming here. It just goes to show you how long something like that can linger. I end up over there. Oh, it's a fish. Okay. Well, that's great. I bet the fish are like, oh look, it's a crawdad falling from a tree. All right, guys. As the sun is getting higher in the sky, we're gonna change up our tactics a little bit. So we'll be fishing a green pumpkin flash Z-Craw, which is my second favorite color Z-Craw. Right next to the every other color Z-Craw. I think I just really like Z-Craws all together, honestly. Let's go to the shaded area. Fish on. Came off. Wow. Did you guys see that? That was a grass carp, actually. Fish on. Got him. All right, buddy. Looks like you got caught. Right in the bottom of the lip, which is what gets me hooked the most. There we are. Hope you can taste the feet, friend, because you just got it. See you, buddy. Looks like they're right under that trash heap right there. Let's see if we can keep on catching them. Hey, the sun's out, man. Z-Craw will get you bites when you need it to get bites. <laughs> All right. All right, Z-Craw, I see you, man. Here he is. Probably the biggest, or no, no, not the biggest bass today, but he's a good-sized fella. Let's let him go. Fish on. It's a good one. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm a bad judge, a good one. Give me just a second, I get you loose, huh? Sorry about the inconvenience, bud. Here he is for the folks at home. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Thank you. Well, it's currently noon. It's hot. I'm burning up. I think I'm calling it quits. We made out well today. I'm a little, uh, a little surprised that the swim jig didn't work in the early morning hours, but that's okay. We began to pick them up with a worm and a jig, and then later on with the Texas rig. That was a Texas rig structure bug by Strike King. But thanks for watching, Fivers. As always, stay weird, fellas, and I'll see you all next time after five. And meet me at the Purple Wall.